Simply learn. Your pace, your place. Hello, and welcome to Simply Learn's e-learning course on ISTQB Foundation Preparation. This is the fourth session that one needs to go through to complete the ISTQB training. At the end of this training, you will be able to understand test development process, categories of test design techniques. We will also learn about different techniques in each category and how to choose test techniques. Like in earlier sessions, we have quiz questions at the end of this session, and you are strongly advised to answer these before you move on to the following sessions. Let us look at the agenda for this session. The whole session is divided into six parts. The test development process, categories of test design techniques, specification-based or black box testing techniques, structure-based or white box techniques, experience-based techniques, choosing test techniques, let us first understand some common testing terms before moving ahead to understand more details on the topics. An item or an event that could be verified by one or more test cases is termed as test condition. Test condition essentially describes what needs to be tested or what to test. An example of test condition will be Test new user is able to register successfully. Test cases are defined to test certain test objectives or test conditions. Test cases consist of a set of input values, execution preconditions, expected results, and execution postconditions. You will see examples of test cases on the following slides. Test cases essentially define how to conduct the test. Collection of test cases arranged sequentially in order to execute a test is termed as test procedure. Test data is nothing but the inputs required for executing a test case. Expected results are produced as a consequence of the test execution, which can be outputs, changes to data, and states, etc. 